escape plan. Leave the rat race in the dust. Bep. Welcome. We have another van measurements video today. We're going to do the Mercedes Sprinter. Now the Sprinter was also badged under Dodge and Freightliner, but it's the same van, same dimension, same everything. And there are two different wheelbase lengths, 144 and 170, and there's two different heights. We're going to start with the 144 inch wheelbase, which is available in both heights, but you'll see here we're using the lower one. And then we'll look at the higher height when we get into the 170 inch. Let's jump right into this. You can see here in the corner, Sprinter 144 WBLR, and it has a 62 inch interior height. But again, this shorter wheelbase model is also available in the 74 inch, which we'll look at here in a moment. And the interior length behind the cargo area, you can see the partition indicated there. From behind the seats or the partition all the way to the back doors is 117 inches. And the space for the side door, the sliding door, is 47 inches wide on the side. And then there's a 14 inch gap between the sliding door opening and the wheel well. The wheel well is 36 inches long, and then there's a 20 inch gap between the wheel well, the rear of the wheel well, and the back doors. Interior width, 53 inches between the wheel wells. They rarely, rarely give you the full dimensions, which include the width above the wheel wells. That's really probably the most critical dimension doing a van build, but it's never included in my experience, so my guess is a little over 70 inches. All right, now we're jumping into the 170. You can see in the corner here on this one, Sprinter 170 HR, and the interior height is 74 inches on the high roof model, but it's also available in the lower height at the 62 inches. The interior length on the longer wheelbase on the 170 behind the cargo area all the way to the back doors, 158 inches, much longer than the other version. You still get the same 47 inch sliding door opening right behind the seats. The difference you'll see here is you get a much longer gap between the sliding door opening and the wheel well. That's up to 40 inches now. Wheel well of course is still 36 inches long and you get 35 inches behind the wheel wells between the rear of the wheel well and the back door. Interior width 53 inches between the wheel wells and again it is available in both those heights. If you enjoy these Van Dimensions videos, please stay tuned as soon we'll have the Mercedes Metris, Nissan NV, Nissan NV200, Ford Econoline, etc. As always, you can get these dimensions for free in PDF format at the link in the description. Thanks for watching.